Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Wildermyth, where the story of the Guild of Glorious Geeks can continue. So of course last time we met Barbara and Bernard and Betty, and they began their wonderful tale of adventure. Now up in the corner here we do have a couple of goals to complete, so we need to clear all hostile sites, and we need to scout Weeping Top Keep, which is a very good name. Now do we know where Weeping Top Keep is? Right, it's all the way down here, so we are going to have to sort of make our way over in this direction. Direction. So I think what we'll do is, let's go and scout the Jevon Woods, a pine forest. Let's pop over to here. Oh, hang on, it says pass. Okay, hang on, carve a pass. Oh, oh, so these are mountains. So we're going to have to kind of carve a pass through from here to over there. Oh, okay, right, hang on a minute. Maybe we'll go over here and do some scouting over at Stillbred Bog. That sounds all sorts of unpleasant, doesn't it? There's going to be no monsters in a swampy bog. Okay, right, yeah, let's do some scouting. So all three of you can go. Because, yeah, look at that Bernard. Because he's a hunter, he can do the whole sort of thing a little bit quicker. Which makes sense. Yeah, okay. So let's all of us head over there. Might as well stick together, you know, work as a team. So do some scouting. Are there going to be things here? Right, so still bread bog has been revealed. And, um, yeah, there is a quarry in there with a strength of three. Okay, so we might have to go and fight this. However, if we capture it and develop it, uh, we get one fabric and one ingot. Okay, that could be quite handy because we're not getting fabric yet, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it does say that it's occupied by lurking gorgons. Okay, right, so let's go and assault this place. Whilst we're here, let's go and have a bit of a fight, shall we? So yeah, we're all here. Let's get all fighty. Right, attack. Yes, here we go. Almost a Neslin quarry, aren't we? How would I know, says Betty. Looking, Betty looks amazing, by the way. Can we just point out that Betty's whole sort of appearance is absolutely fabulous? Well, there's a decently high hill. Good vantage point. Let's climb it. They look a bit sort of, huh? Really? You want to climb a hill? <sighs> that was oh, steeper than it needed to be. Quite a view, though. I'll say that atop the highest hill. Uh, something's here. Oh, no. Uh, okay. What is at the top of the highest hill? A golden egg of some sort. Okay, don't mess the golden egg. Betty, this isn't safe. Uh, th a big old thing, oh yeah, with a bigger, older mama? Yeah, because if that's a bird egg, the, the bird that laid the egg has got to be quite big. Okay, yeah, maybe run away. Come on, Betty, leave it alone, let's head down. Well, I'm going to take it. Um, okay, I would rather, I would rather leave it alone. I'd rather leave it, just don't want to get into trouble. Yeah, we don't want to fiddle about with nature and such like. Yeah, that's, maybe somebody will miss that. There might be a, I don't know, a mum or a dad bird or whatever that's going to be very, very sad if their egg goes missing. So hang on, let's leave it alone. So Bernard and Barbara are kind of teaming together to say, Betty, stop being such a hothead. Let's leave it, please. You're a couple of scared bunnies. Yeah, but it's sensible. Right, we're going to leave it there. We're not going to fiddle about with that. They pick their way down and not a moment too soon. Ooh, yeah, that's quite big. That's quite big and sort of terrifying. Up in the nest, the mother eagle lights for a moment, but does not settle. And it says, Kaka! <laughs> and it doesn't look overly pleased. I imagine it would have looked even more angry had we nicked its egg. Okay. Ooh, she's massive, says Bernard. <laughs> You're not wrong. Definitely a crag eagle. Uh, it's coming this way. Oh dear. Slash. Oh no, it's trying to get us. It's trying to get us. Whoosh. Ugh. Right, we're kind of, sort of hiding out the way. I think it's gone. Is it gone? All right. Yeah, that was pretty close. Bernard, you're right. That might be the biggest crag eagle anyone's seen. She's back on her nest. Got to respect the fury of nature's mothers. There's no reward for doing the right thing. But remember this feeling. And okay, so we're trying to teach her a lesson by being kind of polite. Oh, catch it. String it on a cord. Oh, we have a golden feather. Okay, an eagle feather talisman. A souvenir from a close encounter with an eagle's nest. Okay, so we get plus 0.7 health. I mean, I think, I think, who's got the least health? Betty's got 8.2. Barbara has 6.7. And Bernard has got 7. But he is wearing a talisman, so he's going to take that off. I think, let's give it to Barbara. She's got the least health. So Barbara, you can have a little magical kind of feather talisman thing. And now I think we've arrived at the quarry. Oh, there are many things. Right, so there's a rager and a raccoon and a row. Okay, can we see any of them right now? Do we know whereabouts they are? So, yeah, it's not a big space. It's not a big space is this quarry, but we do have to be a little bit careful about this. Um, okay, so can we just sort of move forward to just there, Barbara? And if we could see something, that would be handy. 
Can we see any monsters? No, they must be kind of all up in that direction. Okay, how about then? How about we hide behind this? We go behind that for a bit of cover. Um, yeah, can we... Hang on. So, Bernard, can you go sort of just there? So stand there, and then can you do your silk step thing? Just go into grey plane, so you can just sort of hide. So could we put you there, and you can hide... Ah, right. A baddie has been revealed. Okay, so Betty, you hop over to here, and then I think if we stand there, that means we can sort of team up with Barbara and do that sort of defensive thingamajig. Right. There's all three of them. They're all coming right for us. Okie dokie. Right. Bernard, can you take a shot at them? Can you have a shot at that row? 88% chance of hitting. So, boom! Three damage. I think, is he still invisible? No, he's visible again now. So he's kind of revealed his position, which does make sense. Right. Barbara, can you use your interfuse magic powers? And, yes, if you could, yeah, take that pulley. I love this. This is brilliant. The fact that you can take control of the scenery is amazing. So if we take control of that pulley, you can then do a shackle. So you can warp metal into grasping appendages that pin a single enemy for two turns. Because it might be a good idea to try and keep that thing up there pinned in place until we've dealt with these, if we can reach that. So, okay, do that. So we've taken control of that. And then can we shackle that thing at the back? So there we go. Right, that took a little bit of damage, but it's pinned in place. So we don't have to worry about that thing charging at us for all. Okay, that's really good. I love that power. That's brilliant. Um, and then, I think, what we could do, if we go... Uh, I mean, we could go up and attack. I know we can't. We can't reach that, can we? So if we go to there, and then just uh, go... I know, Guardian. So Betty ends her turn and waits for an enemy to come within range, hitting up to one enemy with a melee attack. Okay, so we'll guard... So hopefully keep people safe. They've gone for Bernard. Oh, Bernard took a chunk of damage. Bernard, I think, might possibly have died. Oh, no. Bernard just took a massive, great big pile of damage. Bernard collapses forward. His right leg has gone silent. But frankly, the rest of his body is telling him enough. Okay, right. This is bad. This is really bad. So Bernard is maimed. So I can live through this if I get out now. So Bernard is maimed. He survives, but he, so he struggles a bit. He, Bernard dies, but deals 12 damage. He goes out fighting. All well, the Guild of Glorious Geeks, hear me! So Bernard dies, everybody gets armor. No, Bernard is maimed. Bernard can't go out. I'm surprised that just happened. It's just a leg after all, says Bernard. Oh my goodness me, they just properly both went in and just... Hang on, how did the raccoon beat him up? More to life than legs. Bernard assures himself of this as he finds a place to wait out the battle. Okay, so Bernard kind of fades away into nothingness. Okay. I'm a little bit surprised. Ah, achievement unlocked. The cost of heroism. Okay, so we did just get an achievement. However, now we're down to two people. Right, I think Betty's going to be furious. She's going to be really angry about that. So we go over here, we attack that thing, boom, and it's down. Yeah, Bernard took a massive load of damage right there. That was like two attacks, whatever it was. Okay, so that thing is still stunned. So can we shackle this other thing? Can we shackle that as well? Does it break that shackle? Um, no, they, they just sort of stuck in place. I oh, know, but it's it's kind of firing at us. How on earth are you firing? It's got tail spikes. Ah, botherations. Okay, right. I didn't realise that. So we need to move forward a little bit and hide behind this. So take some cover. Um, and then Barbara, you need to interfuse with something else. Okay, can you interfuse with uh, that? Pickaxes. Okay, interfuse with that, and then can we fire at... Yeah, there, like that. Can we chuck some pickaxes at that thing? Right, I think that thing might be dead. Okay, right, the raccoon is dead. Good. I feel a bit sorry for Bernard. Bernard just took some serious damage right there. Poor Bernard. Um, right, Betty, guardian mode. Just guard against foes. Right, that thing is going to come in, but I think we can hit it because we've got guardian, and we dodged out of the way of its attack. Um, okay, right. Betty, whack it. Hittity hit, four damage. Is it dead? Yes, it is. Quickly, go and check out Bernard. Make sure Bernard's okay. <laughs> Bernard's taken some damage. Oh, Bernard. We'll give you a big hug. Um, we get a torch. Offhand, light some fires. Individual action. Okay, an individual can use a torch to light adjacent debris on fire. Okay, so they can have an offhand thing. Uh, I don't know, Barbara. Do you want to take that and set some things on fire? Bernard, Bernard! 
It's all right, Barbara. I'm still here, says Bernard. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... Oh, Bernard, what would I have done if I'd have lost you? Barbara, what... What are you saying? Oh, oh, I'm saying I'm so lucky. I still have the chance to tell you. I love you. Oh! <laughs> okay, right, here we go. Joe, what... Do we... Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, this is kind of the wrong way around. Maybe we should have a slightly different story. Maybe it should be Barbara and Bernard rather than Betty and Bernard. Because Barbara is, is saying you know, that she loves Bernard. Maybe that could be this kind of story. We normally have Betty and Barbara together, but this time let's mix it up a bit. Let's have something slightly different. Yeah, okay, do you know what? That's it. They're best mates and now they're in love and it's all exciting. Oh, Barbara, I love you too. Okay, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's not too late to say I love you. Ah, oh, Bernard and Barbara are together and Betty's just there going, what? Bernard and Barbara have fallen in love. Now, I know I said last time that, you know, it has to be Betty and Bernard because that's the way it is. But, yet yeah, they're in a different world. From the world of Wildermuth now and that is what's happened this time round. I think that's wonderful. That's worked out very nicely indeed. And all it took was for, for Bernard to get horribly, horribly maimed. <laughs> oh dear. Your enemies improved their strategies. Okay. So now after this fight, the row has become stronger. It's got plus one armour. Oh dear. Okay. That's not good, is it? So now our enemy has got an extra fancy card thing that they can deploy. Um, Bernard, what do we do? Ah, here we go. When Hero is maimed, they travel to the nearest safe town to rest until they're ready to fight again. Heroes can be maimed once per chapter. If they fall in battle a second time, they will die. Oh no, that's generally quite bad, isn't it? Oh dearie me. Um, okay, mountains are impassable. Mountains are impassable. 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 Okay, right. Many impassable mountains. Okay, so Bernard's going to head off to there, I imagine. So Bernard's going to head off into that direction. So how about, how about we do go to the Jevon Woods? Uh, we'll make a pass over there because I think we need to do... Actually, hang on. Don't we need to secure the thing first? Hang on. Yeah, let's secure this place. Um, and what do we do then? So investigate thoroughly, catalogue everything, or finish the work, let the place heal. Okay. Um, I mean, maybe we should get an item this time round? Yeah, we'll get an item this time round. Why not? 47 days remaining. My goodness me, it takes a long time. There's only two of them as well. Um, yeah, okay. Right, so Bernard's going to try and make his way back to the little sort of village of Oakchuck. Poor Bernard. Okay, get better, Bernard. Um, and you two, yeah, you can work on this. Bernard Beardman has returned to action. Hooray! <laughs> He's back. Um, okay, so can you go... Can you travel to over here, please, Bernard? Can you make your way back over there? Infested tiles are unsafe. Infestations increase the strength of the source threat, can ambush groups of two or one heroes, and over time will spread and turn into an incursion. You can clear infestations by taking out the source or by sending a group of heroes to patrol on the tile. Oh, right. That's an infected tile. Yeah, we're not quite at that point just yet. Um, okay, right. Let's, um, let's move time on. Let's get this kind of sorted. There we go. So the Nesland Quarry is now secure. A thread delving through the mysteries of Nesland Quarry has proven rewarding. Plenty to satisfy the curious. Chance to rest our bones too, which was nice. And there you go. He's back. Bernard's back like nothing happened. Hey. Um, Nesland Quarry will return to the hands of the common folk. While they tend it, the site will provide resources at the end of each chapter. Okie dokie. So we get ingots and fabrics. Very nice. Not got much in the way of fabrics. And we have a bracelet of illumination. Okay, stunt chance. Um, I mean, I imagine Betty might do quite well wearing that. I think they're more sort of about hitting people, I think. So, yeah, okay, you can have that. And there we go. Right, now Bernard does have sort of shiny... Bernard has kind of shiny sort of things coming out of him. Why is that? Is that because we have him selected? Yes, I think it is. Um, right, so I think, yeah, we need to go and sort of carve a path out over here. So if we go to pass... Okay, I'm here to slay monsters and earn songs. I'll supervise, maybe. Okay, so carve a pass. Um, not right now, or let's get started. I mean, we need to do it because we can't do anything else. So yeah, let's get started. Um, can we add Can we add Bernard? Yeah, Bernard can get there in a while. In fact, he's a bit nearer. It might start with Bernard. Yeah, okay, there we go. Bernard's going to take that route. They're going to take that route. They can meet somewhere over here. And then, yeah, they can go and carve a pass. That takes ages. That takes a very long time indeed. That's a bit of a while until a calamity card and quite a long time until an incursion. Oh, hang on. A calamity card is going to happen before we get our pass completed. 
Um, oh, oh, crikey. Okay, many things have happened. Okay, so, um, right, so the, the rows are now going to be stronger and they leave a trail of corrupted ground. There's some sort of terrifying whatever that is, like a... I, I, I don't know what that is. I've never seen the like before. It's like a weird crab nightmare being. Um, okay, so a new card has been added. A new card is added to the Gorgon deck, which is a big frog with tentacles coming out of its mouth, and the Ragers have now got armour. Okay, we have got seven legacy points, so we can cancel these if we want to. I think we're okay with the Rose. Um... The Ragers might be a problem with their armour. So how about we cancel that, and then we cancel that gigantic kind of frog monster thing. There we go. Right, finish that. So let's save our legacy points. I don't know what we do with them exactly. I'm sure we'll find something. Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, we can go and find somebody else to join us, but it costs three legacy points. Okay, we might do that next time, possibly. Right now, let's get this pass sort of carved out. It takes ages to do this. Crikeys. Okay, there we go. And now... We can go over here. So Gorgons are infesting this tile. They may ambush groups of two or fewer heroes. Okay. So we could do... Oh, they're all infested. Ah, with the little sort of viney things over it, it's infested. Okay. So if we go to scout this place... Yep. All three of you go and do some scouting, please. I kind of feel like we do need a fourth person now. We need a fourth person involved. Okay. So we've scouted the tile. There we go. Jevon Woods has been revealed. So, um... Yeah, okay, we should probably take this out then. So, uh, yeah, let's go and assault the Muddy Raven Archers. Strength four. Oh, we got a bit beat up last time, didn't we? I think maybe we need to go and get an extra person. Can we come back here, please? It's a bit of travel, but I think it's worth it. I think we go all the way back to there and we go and do some recruitment stuff. Uh, yep, that, it was lovely popping over there. Very nice, very nice arches, lovely trees. Um, but yeah, I think we do this. Who do you want to recruit? Okay, there's only one person. A poetical loner called Briglow. Okay, click to inspect. I was going to say, if we click, do we recruit them? Um, so Briglow Gaunt Purse, a wonderful name. You've got a big kind of pointy thing, which is very good, like a sort of a tridenty pitchforky thing. Um, you are creative, you have integrity, and you have wanderlust. Okay. Um, what what type of thing are you? Are you, a, are you a warrior or are you a wizardy person or what? I'm not entirely sure how we sort of work that out. Um, I don't know, but you seem fighty and you look like you mean business and you've got wonderful sort of those kind of fancy sort of plait things in your hair. So yeah, you look you look like you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Let's get, let's get our new person. Let's get Briglow in. So we shall recruit you for three legacy points. Okay. Another soul to stand. So Betty kind of wanders into the tavern, I imagine. You're back. I saw you leave a while ago. Hello. I did. And it's going well. The monster slaying. There's so much monster slaying going on, says Betty. But uh, bottom line is we could do with another pair of hands. Are you interested? Oh, I don't know, says Briglow. It's either that or mope around here and probably get roped into repairing old Thalilene's goat pen or something. Yeah, come with us. It's more exciting. And Thalilene yammers on more than the rest of the town combined. Something to consider. Nice. And then she paused and gave me this look and said, Oh, goat's milk is fine. If you want to lie to someone's face about goats, you better pick someone else because... Uh, that's that person going on. Anyway, so it's a strange one. I know, because I've seen the things he gets up to behind the granary. People don't raise kids like they used to. But some folks get peeved. I tell them goats just do what they want. Uh, do what they want when you like. So there's nothing to... So are you free tomorrow? This post... <laughs> uh, I, I, mean, I mean, you're considering it. I am... Yeah, and I think you're agreeing. So you're in. <sighs> All right. What sort of skills do you need the most? Oh, right. She can train up as whatever. Um, I would rather have another warrior, another person to take some heavy hits. And then we can have sort of Bernard behind and Briglow. Uh, yeah, Bernard and sorry, not, not Briglow. Bernard and Barbara behind. Yeah. Become a warrior, please. Go and do some fighty warrior stuff. Rah, that's see You jab that inanimate object with a stick. Okay. And then over here as well, can we can we craft something? Gather is oh that's just to get everybody on site. So how do we do crafting? What exactly do we do with this? Like can we make slightly better weapons? Like Betty has got she's hitting things with a pickaxe. Could we make say a big axe? Could we do that? It requires two ingots. Oh, hang on, can we make anything else? Can we make other things? We can make a dagger. Hang on, what have we got right now again? 
We've got a pickaxe. So damage four. Okay, damage four is probably the main thing. Range 1.6. We could up it to damage five. And stunt damage goes up to two. Okay, or can we make other things? Uh, we've got a dagger. And that's it. Damage four. Nah, that's not very good, is it? But I think here yeah, we can we can do this. And we've got two ingots. So we can actually make this. Or do you want to make a sword um, for damage five? Because we have got two ingots and one hide. So damage five, range 1.6, melee accuracy and block. Oh yeah, the sword is a bit better. The sword is better. Yeah, do you know what? Let's craft a sword. I get to give it a name. Oh, you get to give it a name. Oh, this is brilliant. Um, um, okay. Um, Stabby Stabberson. Stabby Stabberson. A well-made sword that does stabbing well. There you go. <laughs> a well-made sword that does stabbing well. I'm sure it's brilliant. There we go. So we shall, we shall create Stabby Stabberson. Uh, how long does that take? Craft Stabby Stabberson for better replacing her pickaxe. I mean, do we need to move time on? Oh, yeah, there we go. So we'll let time tick on. Betty can pick up Stabby Stabberson, which is brilliant. There we go. Stabby Stabberson has been crafted for Betty, <laughs> which is wonderful. Briglow needs help getting her gear ready. Uh, okay. Who will help Briglow prepare her gear? Can we all not just go and help? Yeah, okay. We're, we're all going to go and help prepare the gear, Briglow. Don't worry. You're not going to leave on your own. It's fine. Okay. Recruit prepared. And now she's a Greenhorn warrior because she's been training up. Um, okay, so she can have the Sentinel thing. So it replaces Guardian. So, oh, Briglow leaps up to two tiles in order to intercept a foe who passes nearby, performing a reaction strike. So she could be quite good at defending, say, our weaker characters. Broad swipes. Uh, the melee attacks deal one damage to all of the foes within range. Ah, okay. So yeah, so she causes more damage if they're surrounded. Or Raider. As a swift action, Briglow can start a fire on an empty tile or break a piece of adjacent scenery. I'm not so bothered about that. I quite like the idea of Sentinel. Let's have you as a sort of more guard type position sort of thing. I think that could work out very well indeed. Um, and yeah, what do we do about down here then? There are some lurking Gorgons. I mean, we could go and destroy that. But where's the where's the source? It says destroy the source. Or is that the source? Just like, can we click on that and go and destroy it? Ah, oh, yeah, we can assault that or we can assault the actual arches itself. Uh, okay, do you know what? Can we assault this? Can we take down the the thing now the infection let's give it a go everybody let's go and do that it's a few days away but here we go 31 days travel time let's go down we go see so yeah, we'll have a fight with these gorgons to so try and kind of sort of yeah finish the infection that's in the muddy raven arches over here um ah calamities your enemies advance their plans over time um let's stop the giant the giant frog monster from appearing because that sounds a bit scary and then we have one legacy point available. Maybe we should stop things having extra armor. That causes extra damage. I've never met one of those yet. Um, the giant kind of robot monster thing there looks a bit scary. Let's stop that from being so well armored. Oh my goodness, man. they've got so many cards now in all sorts of different kind of categories. Okie doke. Um, right, carry on. Carry on down here. Okay, so we're attacking that the sort of the infestation bit some kind of basement over here. moonless knights and monster knights bernard they've been late all day late rising late on the trail late to recognize sunset and late spotting this ruin it's the remnants of a smallish structure and it rests on a cleared rocky slope where trees find little purchase barbara what do you know about this area all i've heard is that it used to be more thickly settled someone was born here oh an ancestor of the pumpkin guy. You know, the guy with the pumpkins in Oakchuck. <laughs> the pumpkin guy. We're the first down here in some time. Someone worked at this table. Knife lines. Stains of sediment. Ash on the floor. It's chalk. What are these hash marks? And what's in the box? Remember, there's that verse in Opal Night. Uh, when Spira comes to the Umber Lady's Hall. No. Past the open portal. Shadows packed like ravens plumed. Dimming all discovery. Sharply dark and darkness doomed. Spirit spark light shimmered spent. Snuffed. Dispelled. Left all in gloomed. Uh, this place isn't like that, I guess. But nowhere's poem perfect. <laughs> the Umber Lady's Hole. The Umber Lady. Yeah, those are my favourite parts. The box is puzzle locked. Huh? Okay, one of those magical puzzle locks. Oh, is it words or numbers? Words. Oh, thank God. God, so it's like me, kind of the numbers. Uh, remind me how these function. Enchantment. Old one. Don't think anyone does it these days. 
lock words, they called them, the words or phrases that would spring the box open. Oh, okay, we're supposed to be paying attention. The magic lock presents a prompt with a clear slate to write an answer. Okay, the wise wanderer finds home where? Okay, from the looks of this place, I only didn't do much wandering. Ugh. <laughs> Well, air's turning out better than I thought. Could cook dinner and make a night of it? Chalk some guesses? Um, sorry, it's interesting. I'll grab the things. I'm glad here. I'll help you. They haul their gear down the slippery stairs. Briglow senses the smoky air thickening, so unclogs the old chimney pipe. By the end, she can see the stars through it. Well done, Briglow. Barbara takes mild interest in a few of the old books lying around. They chronicle local heroes and harvest. Bernard makes the soup, leaving out the peppers Barbara detests. Okay, well done. They shout and scribble guesses. In the meantime... Who comes up with the correct lock word? Ah, okay, so we get to pick who actually gets the right thing. Bernard, Briglow or Barbara. Okay, so the wise wanderer finds home where his books prove too many to haul, no one else yet has, where friends will gladly make the trip. Or maybe let's get Briglow in. Let's get let's let Briglow kind of, you know, join in and she can, you know, kind of try and bond with us a bit. Click! Ooh, what's inside? Whoever locked the thing must like must have thought like me. Kind of explains what happened to them. Here you all are. Searched up and down. My scouting trip got cut short. Gorgons are closing in. Come on. At least you found us. Whoops. Oh, forgot to... What's in there? Scrolls. Bundles of scrolls. Maybe some letters. Disappointed? Yeah, past the time. Legacy points won. Ah, right. So we got a legacy point for that. And now we have to go and do some fighting. Okay, so we've got two rows, a raccoon and a rager. Okay. Can we see any of them? No, we cannot. Uh, okay, Bernard... Can you go to just there? Does that give you sight of any of them? Yes, it does. Right, two of them. Um, right, I think you should silk step to just there and go and hide. Because you got hurt last time and it made us all sad. Um, Barbara, can you interfuse with anything? How about that tree? Interfuse with the dead tree. And then can you, yes, yeah, splinter blast anything. Can you do that? I think they're too far away. Okay, okay, that's fine. Don't do anything right now. Just, maybe just wait. What's discus? A stone disc launches at an enemy or scenery and then ricochets to another. Oh, can we do that? They're ever so slightly out of range, unfortunately. Okay, you wait. Uh, right, Betty, you come up to here, please. So you hop over to there and then do your guardian thing. And then Briglow, welcome aboard. You go to there to form a shieldy type thing and you do your sentinel thing okay right so the enemy are going to close in now that means because they're down here ah here we go we're going to jump in they dodged ah oh, boo okay but we got a good hit in but briglow did take a bit of damage and there's that big terrifying thing at the back and they're corrupted so they're leaving kind of trails of poison or whatever it is um i mean yeah it doesn't know that bernard's there i assume so bernard's gonna be like oh hang on a minute right barbara Let's, we need to get rid of this thing, but we also need to get rid of that. So can we do a discus thing up here to hopefully take out, you know, to cause some good damage to you two? So if you do that, so ping, it dodged. Botherations. 100% uh, hit chance. Flank an enemy with an attack 90 degrees or more from a previous attack that turn. Uh, oh, okay, right, I see. Um... We need to run away, really, because you're going to get hurt otherwise, aren't you? So if you come back down here... So, Bernard, you pootle over here, if you would be so kind. So, yeah, you're still invisible, which is quite good. And then shoot at that thing. Can you hit it, please? Hey! Right, okay, that's a good chunk of damage. Um, right, Betty. Oh, I didn't want you to move. No! Okay, that's, that's not helped. I didn't want you to move. I just wanted to sort of push the camera up. I was going to try and click on you. Um, okay, that's that's kind of thrown all the plans into chaos. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Briglow, can you kill this, please? Just just commence hitting. Just hit it. Two damage. Oh, this, is, this isn't going to end well. Because they're all closing in on us and it's all a bit bad. And Betty's wasted her turn. Uh, okay, do you know what? Guardian. Let's... Guardian that and hope that Rager doesn't take out Briglow. Okay, so we're guarding against foes. Right, that thing... Poor Bernard is getting picked on quite a lot. Ah, right, Briglow dodged the kind of attack things. Leave Bernard alone. What is it with Bernard? Why do they pick on Bernard all the time? Right, that thing came in and got attacked. Betty did take a point of damage. Okay, right, this is fine. This is all fine. It's all good. 
Okay, so Briglow, can you come in and go there and attack that thing? That'd be really good. Attack the Rager. We need to take it out quite immediately. So you come here. So hop, hop, and then attack that thing. Boom, I think it's dead. Okay, one enemy down. That is very good. Okay, Betty, can you take down that row? Okay, good. Six damage. Good job. Right, that thing goes down and is dead. Brilliant. Okay, Barbara. Hang on, Bernard. You need to then come out of the way. What if you go behind Briglow, who's then going to block access to you, so they can't get around that, and then you shoot at that thing. So, boom, two damage. It's still there. Um, Betty can still... Betty can still move. Because how about Betty goes just there just to sort of try and get in the way. And then Barbara, can you come back into this gap as well? Just hide behind the slightly tougher fighty folk. Um, and then can you splinter blast that thing? Yes. Okay, so you try and do that with the tree. It takes two damage. Okay, so that thing is a bit hurt. This thing is going to try and come towards us. It's going for Bernard at the diagonal. Why do they pick on Bernard all the time? Not quite sure why they're picking on Bernard. Okay, right. You kill that, please. Bang. Dead. Right, that thing goes down. Um, okay, Barbara, can you interfuse with, I don't know, that thing there? And then can you chuck a discus at that monstery thing? So there you go. Ooh, beautiful. That was brutal. Well done, everybody. Well done. We got there. We took out four baddies. Wonderful stuff. So we've cleared the sort of the infection of these lands. Uh, travel traff. Hunter armor. Oh, yes. Give you some better armor. You look amazing. Oh, look at that. He's got a he's got a peg leg because he lost his leg. So now he has a peg leg. Oh, that's brilliant. I mean, it's not, not brilliant that he lost his leg, but I like the fact that's factored into the game. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there we go. We've been very fortunate today. No battle ever promises you that. We should name this place. You mean Muddy Raven Arches? Well, sure. That's the overall place. But what about a specific clearing or cliff? You think they have names? I bet not. I bet they'd love the attention. Anyway, a little commemoration never went to miss. The top of a nearby mound of stone seemed to fit Barbara's vision. It practically calls out for a name, don't you feel that? I've been thinking on this for a while, and Victory's Guard seems appropriate. Huh? Uh, you have an official process for this? Uh, one makes one's own. The place will know. Barbara lit a tiny fire on the crag as the sun stretched out, burning small piles and saying a few words. Bernard wondered if they were talking a little too animatedly to the rock. But when they came down, something did feel different. The company took a moment to take in Victory's guard on their way out, then continued on, hiding small smiles from Barbara. Okay, right, so that terrifying thing has been added now. That has been added, so we might come up against terrifying frog monsters. Oh, good, marvellous. Um, right, so I think with that done, we will finish things up for now. But yeah, we've cleared out the infection of muddy raven arches. So it's not got the kind of horrible kind of brambly line things everywhere. So next time we'll go and secure it, I think. And then we'll grab all the stuff in there, see what that's about. And then, um, yeah, we'll head down here and go and scout Weeping Top Keep. Because that's one of our goals up here. So yeah, we'll try and get that sorted. Ooh, there's a bit of sea just there as well. So I wonder if we're going to find, you know, harbours or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I think, yeah, we'll finish up for now. Next time, go and have a look around this place over here and clear it out. Maybe we could spend some of our uh, sort of legacy points on maybe getting some more armour or weapons or whatever. We will see, but we'll do all that kind of stuff next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Wildermyth. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick.